Hi, we're back at Miss Gwen's art class for the second half of our Eric Carle uh, author illustrator project. So yesterday we made a hermit crab from a house for hermit crab and today you just watched the video of Michelle Obama reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So we are going to make a caterpillar uh, in two kind of different ways, similar to what we did with the hermit crab yesterday, where uh, it can be a collage or not. Okay, so here's our caterpillar. I'm gonna put it down over here. And the things that we're going to need today are uh, similar to what we've used before. So you wanna have paper. Uh, white paper is great if you have it, but you can always use colored paper. I have, you know, a, whatever colors I have left. And I also have some that have I've already cut out from. And when we do the second part of our project, uh, I'll use those. I also have the magazine that I cut uh, pieces out of yesterday. I saved all my scraps. And I have paper that I colored. If you don't have any colored paper, you can always get color that way. So all different uh, papers you can use, whatever you can think of. Some old wrapping paper, whatever you've got. And I have uh, my crayons, colored pencils, markers. Pencil is the one instrument that if you have it would be great to use. And I do have a marker to trace over my lines mostly just so you could see what I did. And then to make his body, He's all different little sections make up the caterpillar's body. So to make that shape, uh, we're going to trace. You can draw those if you want to instead of tracing, but I want to give you uh, the option of tracing if you feel more comfortable that way. So because my caterpillar isn't going to be bigger than my piece of paper, I found things that weren't too wide. So I found a little spice container. Uh, and I can trace that to make the shapes for his body. And then I also found uh, a toilet paper roll and a paper towel roll, if you have them. Don't unwind all your toilet paper just to get the roll. Your moms will be mad at me. But if you have one in your recycling, you can stop the video, ask and see if you have one, and you can use it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'll show you what I'm doing with it though. Okay, so when we when I start, I'm first going to be making our, my caterpillar just on a piece of paper, and I'm not going to be cutting it out, and we'll color the caterpillar and the background all on one paper, and then we'll also, second, make the project where we can trace our shapes on all different kinds of paper and make a collage like Eric Carl made. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use the toilet paper roll because if you see it's round like the spice container is perfectly round but I can also squish this a little because his body has some little different kinds of round shapes that look a little bit more like ovals some are really squished up so if you have one of these rolls it can give you that way of bending it and making it uh, a little bit different shape. So I'm gonna do it that way, but you do it with what you have. Okay, so I'm squishing it a little, and I'm gonna start right here on the right side of my paper, not hanging over the edge, but pretty close, because I wanna get as much of his body as I can. And I'm just tracing around the best that I can. And then if there's some little parts that I wanna fix, I can fix them. Okay, so that's the head, and then I'm going to keep going and trace to make the body. Now, if I were using my little spice container, I can do that too. Just makes it round and a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to go up, up, up. to the top of the paper. Now 
however this works going around your toilet paper roll and then it goes across I'm starting to move my body parts down And right at the end of his tail, he's got kind of a little lumpy one on the end. I think I'm just going to draw that end one. Okay, so we have the caterpillar's whole body. Traced it with this. I'm going to add uh, some details and then uh, we'll outline it and color it. So, caterpillar has two eyes. There's kind of one big oval and another big oval. And then we can make another one inside. And it's got a little nose. Kind of looks like a little chocolate chip or a Hershey's Kiss. And the antennae. One, two. How cute he is. Okay, and then a few more of these little Hershey Kisses or chocolate chips for the little feet. So it's kind of like a little rounded triangle. So I'll give him a couple little feet. In the front, one more. They don't all look the same. Our curls didn't all look the same. And then a couple in the back here. Okay, and those are the details that I'm doing with the pencil and the marker. He's also got all these little hairs, but we'll do that when we color it in. So now I'm just going to trace over with the marker. <laughs> 